When we work together, public health wins. The WHO's latest result report is out, capturing progress and milestones achieved between 2022 and 2023. Starting at number 10, 14 countries eliminated at least one neglected tropical disease. Number 9, 2 million children are now vaccinated against malaria in Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi. Number 8, an additional 7 million people are under treatment for hypertension using the WHO Heart's simple algorithmic approach. Number 7, 53 countries now have best practice policies to tackle industrial trans fats in food. Out with the junk, we say. Number six, our planet's health and our health is interlinked. 149 countries signed a declaration on climate and health at COP28. And our health is interlinked. 149 countries signed a declaration on climate and health at COP28. <coughs> Tobacco control. Today, there are 19 million fewer users of tobacco and 56 countries are on track to achieve the global target of reducing tobacco use by 2025. Number 4. Hey, did you know that antimicrobial resistance is a silent killer? A huge public health concern? 29 more countries have joined forces to tackle antimicrobial resistance in their national action plan bringing the tally to a grand total of 178 countries. Good news. The treatment for multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis has been reduced from 18 months to 6 months thanks to the new all-oral treatments. 18 months to 6 months thanks to the new all-oral treatments. Now available in 109 countries. Yes. We can end tuberculosis. Let's end polio. Over 800 million polio vaccinations across Afghanistan and Pakistan. Whew. And bagging the top spot at number one. If we keep our current rate of progress towards better air quality, access to water, sanitation, and hygiene measures, we could meet the target of 1 billion more people enjoying better health and well-being by 2025. Learn about WHO's impact in countries and check out our results report. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. Just my two cents here at the end. Just notice all the signs and things that they use all the time, right? We understand, but we haven't taken any shots. We understood, we researched. But yeah, I found that to be interesting and in how they have an oral treatment, but yet people still want to inject something into them right because they say that's the only way but then they actually say that there is another way <laughs> right but we get it they're working together right all these companies novo welcome gates the who wef right it's all about the universal health coverage or one health whatever you want to call it trying to achieve this by 2030 but we understand, we know, we've been looking, we get it. It's all, they're all in the club and we clearly know who they all are. They're after all the children. Go for the children, says Alice Bailey. Yeah, a part of Lucius Trust, formerly known as Lucifer Trust. But we know who the enemy is. Do not live in fear, trust God. And let's just try to have a good summer. I'll be making less videos as the time goes, but. All I'm going to keep saying is listen to whoever, but test everyone and everything. Don't even trust me. We put all our hope and faith in God, his word, and that's what we're going to stand on. Whether I'm here or not, posting pictures or not, yeah, it's summertime, so that's how it's going to be. But I just want you to know you're in my heart every news article and things I see, I think about all the chaos they're trying to create, especially in the States with all the storms and everything else. Just pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for those that they see and understand who's behind it all, but ultimately that they have Jesus in their hearts. That's the main point. God bless you guys. Take care. I'll try to make a couple more this week, but at the end of this week, I'll be taking a little bit of a break. Till next time.